Thank you, Austin. Well, one week left to pre-register for the Neighborhood Relief Thrift Store. Good Friday 5K. If you want that race shirt, just go to district8fca.org. Lots of great prizes already donated for each male and female age division winner. Plus, giving away $75 in cash to the overall race champion. And all money raised helps support summer camps for FCA. Well, sad news to pass along today. Our condolences to the Swander family in Parkway. We brought you the story a couple months ago. Brad lost his fight with pulmonary fibrosis and went home to be with the Lord today, placing his trust in Jesus Christ. This week, our FCA spotlight goes to the home of the Panthers as Parkway restarted its huddle back in August for the first time since the Jordan Thompson era. FCA is going really good this year. I've been excited about everyone who's been showing up, and it's really fun to see people grow in their faith and um, the relationships that we've built this year. When I was a freshman, I really was looking for someone to start FCA because I felt like we needed the Christian leadership in our sports programs because I feel like it's important to have Christian atmosphere in sports, not just in certain aspects of our lives. Sometimes it seems like Christian values might not be shown on the football field because they're not looked upon as what everybody wants to do. It might not be the popular thing to do, but I'm really excited that it's been started here and I'm just excited to hear what happens in the next upcoming years for FCA. Panthers promote an open family environment for their weekly meeting. It's really nice because you can be open about like anything with everyone here. The Wednesday mornings is just awesome because sometimes you need a break from school and just talking from everybody from school, uh, just talking about God and talking about what's going on in our lives. Lately, God has really been like putting on my heart like mentoring, honestly, because we have like freshmen on our basketball team and freshmen like around the school and I love like talking to them and letting them know that I'm there for them, praying with them if they like need to. I've always known that God's loved me, but God's been really teaching me that he loves you no matter how far away you run from him, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've done in your past, how broken you may feel. If you come to him in repentance and you ask for his forgiveness, he will come with you with open arms and he will guide your life. 